this experiment under magnets. So it's very simple. It's simple the simplest one. What you just need to do, get all your material ready. Depend on the shape. So if the shape is like this, like automatically you are going to have one of the side of your board to be uh, fixed with what? Fixed pulley. Like this. This is a fixed pulley. So make sure that it's not moving. So what this one is moving, it's not more fixed, it's what? Movable pulley. But we need fixed pulley. Then the other side, you can use nail, eh? Or use that thumb pin. So to hold your, I mean, the thread. So this is the thread. Then after suspending, it will look like this. So they may not ask us to measure the angle here. And this one, like here, I have theta one, theta two. Then this is alpha. It's also angle in degree. Then this length will be fixed. So they may not ask us again to measure this length too. Length x and length y. Depends on the question. Now let's go to the practical and see how it looks. Now. This is my tray. This is the twin. You can see it. This is the what? Thumb pin. Or you can use nail, like I said. This one. Then, this is my fist pulley. This place. Then, this, we are going to use one mass, 30 gram. Is it that they will ask us to put 30 gram here, this side, while the uh, uh, variable pulley will be at the center? So, according to this one, I will put my 30 gram here. So automatically, as we are hanging the other one here, as we are increasing the mass, this one will be going up. So for instance, they say we should provide different masses. So this one is 20. You can see the length now. See the length. Draw a straight line on your paper. Then you put this. So can you see? So you, you are going to measure this angle. You trace it again. Trace this straight. Then trace it here too. Then if you are going to measure this angle, then you measure it, measure this one too. So once you get this angle and this angle, you don't need to stretch yourself to calculate this one. Just subtract the sum of it from 180 degrees because it will form a triangle. Then the next one, depends on the number of mass you are going to have. So let's add another 20, but you need to hold it here so that it will not work more. Then release it. Can you see it? So I want you to take note of something. This length, will be greater than this length because this one is fixed point Why this one is pulley. So the thread will go out, easily move on top of this than this one. So it means our mass now is what? 40. Then the next one, I have this one, hold it here, slow. Put another mass, then release your hand. So you do the same thing. Then you measure corresponding value of theta one theta 2 and alpha or x and y that just it then another way is this they may ask you to put this fixed point this value 30 gram at the center here then what you are going to be changing will be here so it means or at initial stage they may ask you to put maybe something like 100 if you have 100 you'll be removing it let's say we have 100 this is 100 then you measure the length here, measure this one, corresponding value of theta 1 and theta 2. They will ask you to remove one mass. Then you can see that it's going up. So remove it again. It's going up. So it depends on the nature of the question. I think to me, this is the simplest question, uh, simplest practical out of the theory. But just make sure you know how to measure this angle, this angle. Then sometimes, this one to the height, Maybe part of what you are going to be uh, measuring. So I wish you the best.